blocked arteries are often called silent killers and the reason is simple they develop slowly over the years without causing pain or obvious symptoms many people in india might have narrowed or blocked arteries and may not even know about you could be one of them and feel completely healthy yet your arteries may already be narrow what if i told you there is a simple way to get an idea about the health of your arteries at home using just a blood pressure cuff this is not just a trick or a quick hack it is a medically proven method called as the ankle brachial index or abi abi is a simple and non invasive method to screen for blocked arteries in your leg and by detecting problems early you can take action before serious complications happen in fact detecting issues early can also help to prevent heart attack strokes and limb threatening complications in today's video i will explain exactly how abi works how to measure it at home how to understand your results and what steps you can take if something is abnormal So let us first understand what is the ankle brachial index. It is also called as the ankle brachial pressure index. And before you start measuring it, you must know how it actually works. In simple words, it compares the blood pressure in your legs or ankle with the blood pressure in your arm. Normally the pressure in your legs should be equal or slightly more than the pressure in your arms because blood flows more freely to healthy arteries but when arteries are blocked or narrowed due to atherosclerosis and plaque so then the pressure in your legs start becoming lower so the pressure in your legs may become lower than in your arms this difference is measured as a ratio so when we do an abi we measure the leg artery pressure the arm artery pressure and use a ratio to calculate the abi a healthy abi ratio generally falls between 1 and 1.4 anything below 0.9 means that there is some blockage in the arteries and the lower the number the more severe the problem is if it goes below 0.5 it means that your leg arteries can have something called as critical limb ischemia and this is a simple test which doesn't need any complicated equipment and it is not expensive at all it is also important to understand that peripheral arterial disease or pad it, it's not just a leg problem when someone has blockages in the leg artery that is a very strong indicator that other arteries including your heart and your brain could also be having narrowing so detecting a problem in your legs gives you a chance to take preventive action before serious events like heart attacks or strokes can occur you might wonder why this issue is so relevant for indians many studies have shown that a significant portion of indians over the age of 40 may have peripheral arterial disease without knowing it and this is especially true for people with diabetes high blood pressure high cholesterol obesity insulin resistance or those with a family history of heart disease many times symptoms like leg pain while walking numbness or slow healing wounds even discoloration of the feet these all symptoms are often ignored by us and they are sometimes attributed to aging or lifestyle rather than a sign of a serious underlying problem abi allows you to detect problems before other major complications develop and by connecting the dots early you give yourself the chance to prevent progression and can protect your heart brain and legs so let us now see how to check abi at home with just a blood pressure cuff many of us would have a blood pressure measurement machine or equipment at home and that is all you need and ideally it is better to have someone else to help you you can start by lying down and relaxing for at least 5 minutes your body should be calm because stress or recent activity also can affect your readings first measure the blood pressure in both the arms and note the higher reading write it down this will serve as your reference now 
place the cuff just above your ankle and again measure the blood pressure in one leg and then the next make sure that your leg is relaxed and your foot is not tense or bent while measuring this ensures that the reading is as accurate as possible the cuff also needs to be tight enough not too tight and not loose once you have the numbers divide the ankle pressure by the higher arm pressure to calculate the abi for each leg so you can have an abi for your left leg and an abi of your right leg as this chart shows the normal abi is usually between 1 and 1.4 a reading below 0.9 would indicate some amount of artery blockage and any reading below 0.5 is considered severe and would require urgent medical attention This simple method is effective because it directly compares pressures and shows how well blood is reaching your legs. However, it does not give you an accurate estimate of where an artery blockage would be. So now that you know your numbers, what should you do about it? Well, if your ABI is within the normal range, it means that the blood is flowing properly to your legs. But if your ABI is less than 0.9 it indicates mild blockage which can often be improved with lifestyle changes and monitoring if the ABI is 0.7 to 0.9 it indicates moderate blockage and that is when you should consult a vascular specialist and they would probably go for further investigations a doppler or an angiography to find the level of blockage Anything below 0.7 means there is severe blockage and anything below 0.5 means there is the possibility of critical limb ischemia and the chances of developing ulcer and gangrene are very high so anything below 0.7 means that you should be consulting a vascular specialist it is important to remember that ABI is a screening tool and not a perfect test if the readings are abnormal we would have to go with more advanced tests ranging from color doppler angiography or sometimes a ct angiography and these other diagnostic tools do help us to plan out the treatment required so what can you do if your abi is low but not in a critical range well firstly lifestyle changes are essential walking every day will improve your circulation additionally eating a healthy diet which has less of sugar and refined carbs will also help to prevent further plaque build up additionally quitting smoking reducing alcohol are also very important steps that you should follow secondly consult a vascular specialist depending on your condition there are different treatment options ranging from medicines to minimally invasive procedures or even surgery which may be required in severe cases Finally remember that monitoring your ABI regularly helps to track improvement or worsening. If an ABI has come abnormal, make sure you check it at 6 months or as recommended by your doctor. This creates a continuous cycle of prevention, detection, treatment and monitoring. And now let me share a real life patient example of how the power of ABI can be used to treat someone. So we had a 60 year old gentleman from our city in Vadodara who came for a routine checkup. He had mild leg cramps while walking for many years but he had ignored them. He had been to a few orthopedic doctors, he had already undergone physiotherapy. He even had an MRI report which was fairly normal for his age. And the doctors had told him that it appears to be just an aging problem. Maybe you should reduce your walking. He had a look at one of my videos and came to consult me. After checking I found that his pulses were feeble. In doing a simple ABI check, we were able to detect moderate blockage in both the legs. After recommending medications, regular monitoring, lifestyle changes, he noted that his walking had improved and further tests confirmed that there was no aggravation in his arterial blockage. He did not require any angioplasty or surgery for his blocked arteries and did well and is still doing well with lifestyle measures as well. But if you are wondering that what can be the signs of blocked leg arteries that 
you can pick up then you must watch this video